how to make the best homemade candy yams. Baby, first you start off with your potatoes. Make sure you peel your potatoes and you want to dice them up all around the same size. Then you want to melt you some butter. You want to get all your butter, honey. Don't leave no butter up on that paper. Get it all, let the heat from the pan get your butter. You melt your butter at about, start off with a cup of sugar, a cup and a half of white sugar. And you cook that down as the butter melts. And honey, holiday time, things were flying off the shelf. This is the only brown sugar I could find. So I then threw in a cup and a half of brown sugar. So equal amounts of white and brown sugar. You wanna cook that down, cook it down. And then I'm gonna add in a little vanilla extract, okay? I only had a little bit, but I had enough. So I just dumped the whole bottle in there. That was about a teaspoon. Then it adds some ground cinnamon. Uh, be generous with the cinnamon. Then you add a little bit of nutmeg. I didn't add too much nutmeg, but just enough, honey, okay? And it was looking kind of dry, so I added a little more butter. So some things you want to add a little at a time to see the personality of your dish. So we're going to let that melt down. We're going to cook this down. We want all your sugar and everything to dissolve. So go ahead, let that cook down. You don't want to cook it on too much high of a heat. Mm -mm. We ain't that much in a rush. You want to take your time with your sweet candy yams, honey. You know, the next time you invite it to a party, you can bring this dish. Make sure you follow my instructions. Don't deviate from it. <laughs> so you want to cook that down for a while. You want everything to melt. And then after everything is nice and melted, you want to throw in your candy yams. Just throw them in. And like I said before, make sure they're about the same width because you want everything to cook at the same time. So you want to throw them in there. I threw in half and then I tossed them around. You want to mix them up. You want to make sure everything is nice and coated, honey. Yes, and don't worry about it. It's a little thick right now, but I'm going to show you. It's going to melt. Then I threw in the rest of the yams. You see how it's cooking down? And some of the liquid from the potatoes also uh, cooks it down too. So you want to make sure everything is nice and coated, honey. Get everything up on there until they're nice golden brown. And you want to leave a little steam. You want to leave a little room for steam to escape. So I put it on the back burner and I put it on low. So I let that steam. And I did that for about 20 minutes. Look at look look at that. Look at that. Mmm. Mmm. Luscious. And look at how juicy it is now. You better believe me, honey. Yes. Mmm. They're still not tender enough, so I'm gonna cook them down for about another eight minutes. I'm gonna put the lid back up on it. Make sure you leave a little steam. So 10 minutes later, baby, baby, look how that fork is just going through, honey. Yes, yes, they are done. Don't worry about it, honey. I use the spatula to get them out because I want to leave the juice in the pan because you need to cook the juice down for a little while until it thickens up into a nice syrup, okay? Look at those pretty candy ants, pretty. So now that's the remaining juice, so we wanna cook that down until it thickens up. See, that's water there we got. It's sticking to the spoon. You see how it's sticking to the spoon right there? So I cooked them down. You gotta, gotta base your uh, thickness. Now it's time to pour that candy sauce on top of the Sweet potatoes, yes, queen, yes. Look at that, it's like a nice thick syrup, honey. It's the holiday time, there is no need to skimp on nothing. So you getting ready for Thanksgiving and you can make this dish, baby, it was good. You don't even gotta put it in the oven, you don't need to use up any of that real estate. You make your candy yams right on top of the stove. Look at that, look at that, pretty. Rich C, baby, they were good. You better ask somebody. Mm-hmm.